Good morning. It is September 10, kickoff day. We've got Krispy Kreme ready for a long day of building. Good morning! I think we have a system where you can grab it even when it's tipped over. Thinking like um, spinny things with fingers type things. That, like so like cyborg blast here? Yes, similar to cyborg blast, yes. Okay. Where it kind of like, because it's the biggest part, it could drag it in by this. And then put it on a system where it had the wheels here so that it would always flip this Upside way. down, interesting. And then you could flip it. Or could you just put it upside down? You could, but then but then they stack like this. Right. So you can't stack as many on short ones or something. Back up. There you go. There you go, go ahead. Okay, so you have the, the, the wall, the game wall. And you have, and you have, this is our zone. And you put it in here. The robot doesn't have to have an active intake. It just has to have an intake that when you run up into the wall, it mm. pushes it into here. I see. Yeah. So the intake That's can be like good. this. Oh, oh. The intake can be. The intake just has to be when it hits the wall. The size of the object just has to be the max at the back. idea in which we have like an interior um, kind of a cam basically cam like an oval oh. that would spin and um, and then while spinning this would expand and grab this cone so like you'd insert this whole piece and then it would this piece over here would spin and it would expand and then you'd be able to grab the cone after doing a bit of experimentation, uh, we found that completing the circuit, even if you do the shortest path, which would be doing this straight back in the line and using this, that it wouldn't be as efficient, especially in later competitions with fast cycle times, you just focus on maybe five or fours. Especially if you can get your signal on it during the end game, it would, it would weigh out more points than doing a circuit. We did it, I think the difference was about five between the teams. One completed it, one did it. All right, so this is test one of the lift attached to the robot. tape and some hot glue. It worked well and then it was slipping so we added some rubber bands to add some uh, give and less slippage. It just runs a simple servo to clamp and it would go up and down and it's been both mounted this way and this way. Moment of truth, we just realized we've never measured to see if the height of it is less than the 18 inches. Oh, and we're good by like a quarter well, of an inch. Where's the bottom of the wheels? Oh. Aww. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
So this is the new prototype for the um, grabbing that we have. It's like we said, a cam that's like such that as it rotates, this expands out. And as you can see, you can drop it in, it expands, and then it's a fair amount of force it can lift. And then when we press it again, it's able to retract and then it falls. All right, it is almost the end of day one. It's been um, a little over seven hours of robot building now, and some really good progress. Uh, yeah. On my side, I've been working on a few different grabbers for the whatever the, the pig thing is. Um, we have a pretty simple one, which is just grabbing the outside, and then working on a more complex one that's going to grab from the inside. And then we also finish the lip minus the string. Jim, do you want to talk about software? Yeah, so on my end, we've been working on programming, so getting a touch sensor set up to reset the encoder for the lift. Uh, and then we've gotten the drive the train plate. running, and we've also yeah. started on autonomous code, which will hopefully be up and running pretty early tomorrow. Vote for scoring mechanism, or in game scoring mechanism, and parking scoring mechanism. Oh, <laughs> uh, do you want to give a demo? <laughs> that would be a forest, though. Yeah, two there points. you go. <laughs> so, this is our concept to get just those two points. Just a really simple mechanism. It's spring loaded, so it'll shoot out at the end of the match to save us like one to two seconds so we don't have to drive that actual distance. This is, this is so not moving. <laughs> <laughs> two points. Let me show you something. 